This is the brainwave activated light bulb that I built for Maker Faire. I really didn't want to build anything for Maker Faire this year, but people were tweeting to me and asking me if I was going to bring a project. So a couple days before the event, I started feeling a little bit more motivated, and I put this together really quick. Part of my motivation to build this is a couple years ago at the Penny Arcade Show in Seattle, I saw a guy walking around that had a backpack with a rod sticking out of it. And above his head, he had a video game signal, symbol that looked like it was floating there. And I thought that was really cool. So that's always been kind of on my mind. And a week or two ago, a video was released showing a headband that you could wear that would read your brain waves. And then there were little like cat ears that would move up and down depending on on your um, brainwave activity and that was very cute and lastly I was at an event just before Maker Fair where one of my colleagues asked me about a project that I was working on which was a musical instrument if it could be brainwave controlled so all this came together and so I had brainwaves on my mind and I put this together it consists of a light bulb with a couple LEDs behind it, a uh, red one and a green one in this case. This steel rod that runs down the back side um, can be disguised behind your hair. And it's spot welded to another metal rod which is kind of springy and it's bent around. And there's two electrodes, one on either side which is touching your scalp and it's springy enough to allow it to clamp to your head I'll tell you what, after about six hours of wearing this, you really, really feel it. Uh, it kind of clips over your ears too, so that helps keep it on your head. And then this bundle of wires comes down, and you slip it into your clothes and hide it. And it comes down to my geek pendant, which I wore around my neck, which was a couple battery packs. A circuit board with an instrumentation amplifier, this is an analog devices one. And some op amps and some comparators. There's also a secondary electrode that you have to attach to your body somewhere which um, servos against the common mode noise and uh, tries to cancel out some of the terrestrial noise. For instance, a lot of this blinking that's going on right now is because I don't have it um, hooked up to a probe on my body and it's floating. It's actually picking up my plasma disc up here which is sound activated. Alright, so I'm going to show you some footage of me at Maker Faire at the Element 14 Future of Education panel, and you can see some of the activity as uh, people speak to me. The light would go from dark to green to red. Okay, here's a high level diagram of the basic circuit. So you have two electrodes that are touching the side of your head, and this is measuring voltages that are generated from quote unquote brain waves or uh, electricity from uh, muscles and that's going to an instrumentation amplifier. Uh, the instrumentation amplifier measures the difference between the two probes and will remove the common mode noise. For instance, if you're in a room with Tesla coils or a lot of AC wiring, both probes will pick up the same interference at the same level and that will cancel out also, to attempt to cancel out some of the noise, there's an inverting amplifier which takes some of the common mode and inverts it and feeds it back into your body. An output of this, you see a fairly stable signal. This is what the diagram of the complete circuit looks like. So, we have the inverting amplifier for the feedback. We have the two probes coming to the instrumentation amplifier capacitively coupled to another op amp which is increasing the gain and it goes to a series of comparators I'm only drawn one in here which drive the LEDs and I have a resistor divider um, I actually use trim pots so I could adjust the threshold to make it um, it's sensitive to the areas that seem to react to again quote unquote my brain activity and my supplies were done with batteries, so I had two different power supplies. I had about three volts, negative and positive. This is for all the op amps. And then I had a 4.5 volt battery pack, which was for the LEDs alone. If you're going to do these experiments, be very careful that you either use battery packs to do all of this, 
or you you very carefully um, watch the isolation of any power supplies and what you have hooked your your head you know you don't want to run uh, 110 volts accidentally through your body because of some ground loop through a switching power supply or something like that. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, build your own brainwave activated light bulb.